Hi everyone, welcome back to the another video of Nidas Academy. So guys, you might have seen this type of the tube which is connected at the end of the Francis turbine or Kaplan turbine. Especially this type of the tube is uh, suitable for the reaction turbine. It's one end is connected to the reaction, uh, the end of the reaction turbine and the other end is like immersed in the tail race. So this type of the tube is known as the draft tube. So guys, over here in this particular video, we are going to learn everything about the draft tube. It's uh, working. Why does this particular draft tube is needed in case of the reaction turbine? What is the like the types of this particular draft tubes? Its uh, efficiencies, its application. We are going to cover everything over here in this particular video. So guys, please do watch this video till the end and please do subscribe to my educational channel Engineers Academy. So without wasting any time, let's begin with our today's topic that is nothing but the construction and working of this particular draft tube. This particular draft tube is nothing but the connecting pipe. So its one end is connected to the outlet of the reaction turbine and its second end uh, is connected or it is immersed in the tail rays. This type of the draft tube is only suitable for the reaction turbines and if we look at the construction of this particular draft tube, its inlet is the equal to the outlet of the turbine and it is connected to the outlet of the turbine whereas the outlet will be having the bigger diameter. The, at its inlet it is having smaller diameter and the outlet it is having the bigger diameter. It is having the increasing cross section. So this type of the draft tube is suitable for the reaction turbine. So this particular draft tube decreases the kinetic energy of the water which is coming out from the turbine. It is which is coming out from the runner of the turbine. So at the exit of the turbine, the water which is coming out, which is having the higher velocity, higher kinetic energy. It is like in the form of whirl. Also, this particular water will be having the lower pressure. The, this particular pressure of the water at the exit of the turbine, it is lower than that of the atmospheric pressure. So suppose if draft tube is not there, this particular Francis turbine is like installed just above the tail race and like in the case of this uh, reaction turbine or as Francis turbine, the inlet available pressure head is very much low. And this particular turbine needs to be work on the lower pressure head first of all. So at the exit of the turbine, it will be having the higher kinetic energy and the lower pressure head. The, this particular pressure head is less than that of the atmospheric pressure. So when the water is coming out from that particular turbine, when that particular water gets exposed to the atmosphere, this particular water will be subjected to the atmospheric pressure and due to the pressure difference, the water will flow from the higher pressure head to the lower pressure head. So due to that, the backflow of the water will occur if there is no draft tube and due to that particular backflow, there will be the damage of the turbine blades. So to avoid this particular backflow and to avoid this damage, this draft tube is used. This particular draft tube covers the whole of the section and it connects the outlet of the turbine to the tail race. So over here in the draft tube, like the increasing cross-sectional area is there. So when the water is coming out from the turbine, it will have a higher kinetic energy and the lower uh, pressure head. Basically, this particular kinetic energy like gets reduced in that particular uh, draft tube. It will decrease the kinetic energy of the water and it will increase the pressure head. It will increase the, uh, it will convert that particular kinetic energy of the water into the pressure head, into the pressure. Basically, it will increase the pressure such that it will increase the pressure from the section 1 to section 2. As you can see over here, in this particular image, this particular section 1 represents the scenario at the inlet. At that particular point, the water will be having the higher kinetic energy and at the section 2, the water will be having the lower kinetic energy and the higher pressure. At point 2, the water will be subjected to the atmospheric pressure or else the pressure at this particular point will be more than that of the atmospheric pressure. So, if we apply, so this will be looks like a cone basically, a first term of cone. So if we apply the Bernoulli's principle at this particular section 1 and section 2, there will be pressure head, velocity head and the elevation head at section 1 and pressure head, velocity head and elevation head at section 2. If we apply the Bernoulli's principle at this particular one, section 1 and section 2, 
we will be getting the pressure at point 1 will be less than the atmospheric pressure. So due to this particular reason, okay, the net head on that particular reaction turbine increases. As we have seen this particular reaction turbine is suitable for the lower pressure heads. But due to this particular draft tube, the net head available on the reaction turbine increases just because of the draft tube. So this is the reason the draft tube is much needed for the reaction turbine. Whereas in case of this particular impulse turbine, the draft tube is not needed because in case of the uh, Pelton wheel turbine, like the, there will be the jet of the water and the water will be get drawn into this particular tail race. There is no situation of the backflow in case of the Pelton wheel turbine. In case of, so this is the reason in case of the impulse turbine, this particular draft tube is not needed. And in case of the, and there is another reason in case of this uh, impulse turbine, the available head, the available potential head of the water is much more on the higher side. So these are the two reasons that uh, in case of this particular impulse turbine, the draft tube is not required. Also, this particular draft tube has the different functions like first of all it will convert the available kinetic energy of the water into the pressure head also it will increase the efficiency of the turbine it will increase the work done total overall work done unit on the turbine itself this particular draft tube enables the francis turbine or as the reaction turbine to get installed uh, above the above the tail race that becomes very much easier for uh, maintenance and repair purpose so there is no extra excavation needed just because of the draft tube also, we have seen the available net head on the turbine is increased just because of the draft tube. So that is the another necessary function of the draft tube. So now let's talk about the efficiency of the draft tube. So guys, as we have seen, the main function of the draft tube is to convert the kinetic energy into the pressure energy. So how effectively this particular draft tube converts the kinetic energy into the pressure energy. So that define its efficiency of the draft tube. Also, we can say this particular uh, efficiency of the draft tube will be the difference of the kinetic energies at inlet of the draft tube and at the outlet of the draft tube. So as we have seen in this particular two sections, that is the section one and section two, the there will be the kinetic energy of the water present at different levels. So like uh, at section one, it will be having more kinetic energy and at section two, it will be having less kinetic energy. So in order to determine the efficiency of this particular, in order to determine the efficiency of this draft tube, the formula which is used to calculate the efficiency of this particular draft tube will be equals to the, in the bracket V2 square minus V3 square uh, minus 2G HD divided by V2 square. So over here the V2 will be the velocity of the water at the exit of the turbine and at the inlet of the draft tube. The V3 will be the velocity of the water at the exit of the draft tube. G is the acceleration due to the gravity and HD is the available head loss in the draft tube. So this particular formula helps us to calculate the efficiency of this particular draft tube. So guys, now let's talk about the different types of this particular draft tube. So there are mainly five types of the draft tube. That is nothing but the conical draft tube, bell mouth type draft tube, simple elbow type draft tube, uh, draft tube with circular inlet and the rectangular outlet. And the last one is nothing but the moody spreading tube or hydra cone. So the first one is the conical draft tube. This type of the conical draft tube is mostly suitable for the vertical shaft Francis turbine. This type of the draft tube as we have seen in the previous uh, example like it will be like just like the frustum of the coal the as you can see over here this, this is nothing but the conical draft tube now this type of the draft tube can be made up of the ms and in certain scenario it is made up of the stainless steel as well uh, also this type of the draft tube will be having the much higher efficiencies it is having around 90 percent of the efficiency the angle of the cone over here can be limited up to from 8 degrees to 10 degrees over here. The next one is the bell mouth type draft tube. So as you can see over here the shape of the this particular draft tube is just very similar to the bell shaped. So this type of the tube is suitable for the vertical shaft Francis turbine and uh, like uh, at the exit of this particular Francis turbine when the velocity of the water will be having the whirl velocity then this type of the turbine, then this type of the draft tube is very much, very much suitable. 
The next one is the simple elbow type draft tube. So over here, this type of the draft tube is like bent at 90 degrees and it's one end is connected to the uh, exit of the turbine and the second end is immersed into the water. This type of the dra draft tube is uh, suitable for the horizontal shaft, horizontal axis Francis turbine and it provides the efficiencies up to 60%. The next one is nothing but the draft tube with circular inlet and rectangular outlet. So well, this type of the draft tube is the modification of the previous one draft tube. This is also at the right angles. Over here in the previous one, we were getting the efficiency of 60% but over here to increase the efficiency, the outer periphery has given uh, like having a rectangular shape. It is also suitable for the horizontal shaft of Francis turbine. And the last one is nothing but the moody spreading tube or hydra cone. Well, this type of the draft tube is especially suitable for the uh, Kaplan turbines. Whereas in case of the Kaplan turbine, the uh, like the it is having the maximum kinetic energies and to split up this type of the draft tube split up that particular kinetic energies into two different parts. As you can see over here, this type of the draft tube will be having these two streams. To divide this particular kinetic energy, this type of the draft tube is having the one inlet and two outlets. The efficiency of this type of the draft tube is around 88% and it is used in the vertical shaft turbine. So guys, the main function of this particular draft tube is to remove the kinetic energy of the water which is coming out from the turbine to remove the, to remove the backflow. So guys, I hope you understood the function of the draft tube, the necessity of the draft tube. So if you have any doubts, any queries, please leave a comment and guys, please do subscribe to my education channel, Engineers Academy. Also guys, please do follow me on Instagram and Facebook because I do post videos or some sort of a useful information on that platforms as well. Stay tuned and please do subscribe to my education channel, Engineers Academy. Thank you so much guys for watching this educational video.